I've got a new way to make cabbage and it's not the way your grandmama made it. That's coming up. never a huge fan of cabbage is because every time I ate it as a child growing up it was cooked to death. I just wasn't a big fan of it. I would eat it but I didn't really enjoy it. Because of that I decided to come up with a new way to make cabbage. Let me show you what you're gonna need. First you're gonna need one head of cabbage. This was a small head of cabbage and I just sliced it up. I also have a little bit of water, some butter, extra virgin olive oil, and a little salt and pepper. That's all you're gonna need to get this done. If you wanna stay on the healthier side and leave out the butter, you can definitely do that. And that water that I just showed you, you can switch that out and use some chicken stock or chicken broth. That'll bring even more depth to your cabbage. Let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to get it done. I have my cast iron skillet preheated over medium heat. I'm gonna throw in a couple turns of olive oil and that pat of butter. And as that melts down, I'm gonna give it a little stir. And once this butter melts, I'm gonna to toss in our cabbage. All right, butter's just about melted. We have our cabbage here. I'm gonna to toss that in our pan. And the cooking process is gonna begin. So the cabbage has been cooking for about two minutes. We let it cook down just a little bit to get it softened up a little bit and get it going. Now I'm gonna add in our other ingredients. A good hit of pepper. You can leave the pepper out if you want, but it definitely does need some salt. A Couple good pinches of salt there. And we're gonna put in a little bit of water. Like I said, you can use chicken stock or chicken broth if you'd like. Oh. That's music to my ears hearing that sound. We're gonna give this a little stir and let it cook for a few more minutes. And then I'll show you what it's like once it's all done. Our cabbage is done. It cooked for about five minutes on, on medium heat. You can cover it up and step away for a minute if you want, but I stirred it once or twice in between just to make sure that it was cooking evenly. And it is absolute perfection. You see how it maintained that gorgeous green color? I like it because it's kind of like a rainbow of greens in there. You got all those different colors and it's not overcooked. It's not soggy and it has a perfect amount of crunch that I believe a vegetable should have even when it's cooked. I don't do soggy vegetables. <laughs> anyway, it's delicious. Go try it. Have the kids give it a shot and make it. It's perfect for a weeknight, perfect for a weekend. It's quick, it's easy, it's healthy, and delicious. Thanks for checking in with me today. I'll see you next time.